we're gonna talk to you about the Sleepy Pods Click It Terrain Safety Harness for Dogs. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment and let us know how you're currently keeping your dog safe when you're in the park. So the Click It Terrain is actually a three-point safety harness. This is also crash tested at 30 miles an hour. Sleepy Pods has actually made a crash test dog dummy. So it's weighted the same way that a dog's body is weighted, like where they're, you know, the weight distribution. Just like you do a crash, a human crash test dummy for vehicle testing. If you go on their website, there's information about how they came about, you know, to the conclusion that that was going to be the way that a dog should be formulated. There's a lot of videos of the crash test dog in these harnesses, so you can see how a dog's body reacts from different types of impacts. You can see what goes on with it. This is crash test approved. Like I said, it is a three-point safety harness. You can use this as a walking harness as well. It also has the reflective strips. What else does it have? Okay, this is energy absorbing. So if you get into an accident, the impact, like this fabric and how this is constructed and like how this is made, it actually does something to absorb some of that energy. All this is just made to like be shock absorbing. So it's really made for that impact. So it does have the wide cut sleeves that are shock absorbing and it does have two places that you can hook your seatbelt through. And we'll go over that in just a second. Um, the other thing that's cool about this is it can have an optional backpack. It doesn't come with it, but you can buy one, you know, and that's awesome. So if you need a backpack for it for some reason, it's there. So I'm going to have Fairby put her Sleepy Pods harness on in the house just so you can really get a feel for how it actually goes on the dog. And then we're going to walk out to the car and I'm going to show you how it actually straps in the car. So this is what it looks like. I think I've already shown you guys this by now, but this is what it looks like and she's just going to step in. So I like to lay it on the ground and then just have her step in. There you go. I can't see. This is kind of backwards of how I usually do. Step in. Step in right here. There you go. And then all you do is you take the snaps on the back and you snap them around. And you snap the one around the neck. And that's it. Okay, so we're in the car. So whenever you get your dog in the car in a sleepy pods harness, what you want to do is you actually want to put the seat belts through these back two loops. So you're gonna have your dog sit with her back facing the back of the car, and then you just wanna take your seat belt and hook this part through these two straps. So it's gonna go here, and it's gonna go here, and then you're gonna hook this, just like you normally would, into the, the little bracket thing. And that's it, and then they're secure. So that's all. And then we give them kisses, and then we shut the door. <laughs> so this is about how far she can go. And in case I wasn't clear a minute ago, this is what you have to hook it into. So you see, she can still lay down in the car. It's just a sideways position. So like I had said earlier, you can use this as a walking harness. Um, this rough wear leash works really well with it because it does have this nice flat buckle. Um, I will link this one below. I think it's called the Not Along. So it fits really nice on here though. And this would be super comfortable for her to walk in, wouldn't it? I feel like it's constructed really well. Um, there's really good reviews on this. There's a lot of information on why this would be good in a crash. So that is why I went with this brand. So Sleepy Paws actually makes other car harnesses and travel bags for little dogs and they are crash test rated and airline approved and stuff too. This company only does like safety travel stuff, which is awesome. So basically I think this is worth the money if you have the hundred dollars to spend on it because it's gonna, you know, Hopefully you're never in an accident, but if you are, 
hopefully this um, you know can prevent your dog from getting injured. Sleepy Pods does offer quite a few color options. This is the Robin Egg Blue. Of course they have black, gray, red, orange, and I think they have like a beigey kind of blush pinkish tone as well on some of their products. Um, so there are more color options on this. And I don't know if I said this or not, but these reflective strips um, peel off. They're actually Velcro. So you can Velcro some patches on here if you have a service dog um, or whatever, whatever you need to Velcro on there. So there is that option. Hey guys, it's me from later. <laughs> I'm editing and I just thought about this. So the reason it's so important to keep your dog safe in the car is because of course we wanna keep them safe. We love them, right? Um, but if your dog is loose in the car and they're not strapped in somewhere, uh, your 30 pound dog or 20 pound dog or whatever can become like a hundred pounds of weight whenever it's hurled through the car, whenever you slam your brakes on. Um, obviously they could go through the window, they could land on you or another passenger. It can cause you to get hurt. Obviously you don't want your dog to get hurt either, but you need to keep your dog strapped in the car no matter what. Some states have a law against that where you can't just let them ride, you know, without a seatbelt or anything. Um, other states don't, but you should definitely keep your dog as secure as possible, just like you would a small child. Your dog can't decide to buckle up, so you need to do that for them. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye guys.